I'm trying to keep my 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 Magpul poster in the back. I I, I just I, I just got an AR-15 a few months ago because they put all these bans on in California. If you get an assault rifle after January 1st of this year, even though it's not, I don't want to go out and shoot somebody, but I just kind of if you if they tell. Me, Hey, how's it going? We gotta wait for people to come in. All right, hang on. I gotta bring up the. Uh... All right. Oh shit! This is, oh my god, <laughs> that's kind of trippy. Watching myself, watching myself. All right, hang on, hang on. Um, sorry, about that. sorry. I wish I made my. I I, I need to redo. redo Dude, don't the worry. Rate. Stop, stop, stop doing that. Stop. You're fine. Shit, hard knocks is there. Oh, Jeff. Tomorrow, Jeff. Jeff Kennedy's in here. Tomorrow, Jeff. I got a video coming out, and you're in it. You're the man, Jeff. Jeff Kennedy, RJ, is a very, very good guy. Hard knocks. Let me see how my internet's doing, and I'll bring you in here in a minute. Hard knocks is my right-hand man, RJ. Guys, oh, right on. This is, uh, this is RJ. He's the marketing manager of Vampire Tools. Been on the Skype call for three hours or so now, two hours. And uh, we've learned a lot, and we've worked a lot out, and uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. Move some. I need to grab. I need to grab my charging cord before my phone computer dies. One sec. Okay. Um. We're going to. Alrighty. Thank you, Qualcomm Quick Charge. Fuck, how do I get this stupid chat out of here? Uh, wait, uh, is, did that get rid of it? No, I need to get rid of oh. this chat. Okay, though, well, that's on your end. Yeah. Um... I'm look. Usually they'll have an arrow or some sort of. There we oh, go. I got rid wait. of it. There, there, there. Okay. I oh, I can see it. I can see it on my end right now. Actually, I can see the chat and or is that how you want it shown? No, it's it's fine. I got. All right, there's that. There's that. Now I gotta bring this over. Where's where the fuck did that go? Okay, here we go. All right, that's better now. Dang, work, working hard or hardly working? Now, can you uh, can you read the chat? Because if you have People have questions for you, and then you'll be able to yeah, read them. So make sure on your left. Oh, oh, yes. I, is Jay Young in the chat, or is he just, or was he just invited? So, so the only people that are in the chat right now are Corey, Jason, and GM. All right, check it out. Whatever you're not gonna know who's in the chat. All right, all you're gonna look at okay. are the chat messages or the uh, oh, the chat, okay. and then look at those to acknowledge any questions or anything. So basically, guys, okay. I'm here with the marketing manager of Vampire Tools. This is RJ. RJ has been with Vampire Tools for roughly a year or so. Um, very good at what he does. And uh, learned a lot about each other tonight. And pretty much uh, working on like a... Um, Collaboration almost? Collab business partnership. Almost like a sponsorship from Vampire Tools for my channel. No, it's not selling out. It's basically more or less helping him, and you know, and he could tell you. I, 
basically, I can ask for about anything, and he would send it to me, but I'm not interested in him sending me free stuff. I have the tools. I know they're good tools. I don't need 10 pairs of everything. You know what I mean? Uh, we will work out things in the future for some giveaways and stuff of that nature. Um, and, uh, you know, go from there. This way here, you guys can have chances for free to win Vampire Tools. No raffles, no anything like that. They will be strictly for free. Not like the other night. Now, Frankie, um, I'm the I'm the marketing manager or director for Vampire Tools. Yes. Just to answer your question. And then, um, who what was the last question? Uh, now. Why major, no lifetime? Major, here's the deal with the lifetime warranty. The lifetime warranty, there isn't one yet. They cannot offer one yet. But what they are doing is here shortly. There are going to be QR codes. And on the packaging and also you can go to the website for an extended warranty but I'll tell you with this company if you had the tool past the past the warranty time and it's broken and you sent it in I can almost guarantee they're not gonna deny replacement of that tool they're not because rather than not not warranty the tool for the 12 or 20 bucks that it cost them to make the tool manufacturer and own the tool they're not gonna lose a customer over that Know what I mean, and and risk not buying their tools so, because does, yeah, did, I'm sorry to cut in because we realize that steel obviously, no matter how hard the steel is, it degrades and strips over time as you use it more and more. So we offer a four-year warranty. However, register if you register the product, you can extend the warranty to five years. And my best recommendation, I do the exact same thing with these Bose headphones that I'm wearing, is even if the product is not defective, just call in and have the product replaced before the four-year warranty or five-year warranty, if you register, expires. So then you can continually have a brand new set of vamp pliers forever. Yeah, I, I, I know that's hard for some people to grasp because they would prefer just to have a lifetime warranty. But as of right now, this is the best that I've been able to push our company to do. And I am working as hard as I can for the lifetime warranty. But in the meantime, this is the best advice that I can lend you. And that's what I would do. And I would still buy the product because I would just have it replaced every four to five years. That's, that's my input in terms of the warranty that's to get answer. around the lifetime in the meantime. That's a very good answer. Um, Drew, if you look at them on Amazon, that's great, that's awesome. But if you're going to take the plunge and pull the trigger on the tools, I will tell you the 8-inch lineman pliers are by far the best. And there's a couple other ones I can recommend. Um, but just wait. Give me till Sunday. And I'm going to have a big formative video coming out. And it will also have my uh, the Bruce 17 uh promo code that you'll enter at checkout and it'll save you 15%. That, that I believe that promo code is already active. I'm just going to check right now if they wanted to use it. I just want to make sure I, 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 I say the right code. Bruce15. Oh, Bruce15 is the promo code. Yeah, Bruce15 for 15% off. Promo code Bruce15 for 15% off everything in your cart plus we do free shipping um beamer they are not made in the usa currently they are working on some sort of deal with a manufacturer in the usa that is one of the downfalls their two biggest downfalls and um i'm actually going to be having a skype conversation with the ceo because i guess apparently they want my input as um i'm not the most successful vampire tool video review channel uh, channel so far but um, I guess I'm pretty up, close. I'm up there, but and then with the future videos, it's very promising. So, um, RJ, I guess the 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 CEO has big interest in having a one-on-one -on -one talk to me. Well, along with RJ here, and so to discuss all this stuff and then my thoughts and opinions. So, any questions you guys deliver to me, I will bring up with the CEO of Empire Tools. And then try and make everything you guys want become a reality. 
Right now, they are not made in the USA. And in order to compete in the tool business right now, we all know they need to be made in the USA and have a lifetime warranty. Um, and so I agree with we you. We need to find a way to make that happen, and that's what we're all going to discuss. You know, we're just I'm just a small fish in a big pond, and so basically I have to run it through RJ, and RJ and I will run it through the big dark yeah. and try and to figure, figure everything out to again make your guys wants become a reality because at the end of the day it's all about meeting the customers needs um are you going to be employed monday morning after saying to return for new before? he's not going to get in trouble for that hemi power he's he's not going to get in trouble for for saying something we'd like that we'd rather have you be using the tool and replacing it than not using the tool at all because I use the tool every day to close my windows, and as a mechanic, the, the, I mean, the, the, the steel will, will wear out over time, and I'm just, I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the best advice that I would use as a personal human being, and I don't really care if Vampire Tools ag agrees with my recommendation, but it's, it's honest and true, and as long as you call us. Uh, saying, look, these have stripped out on me. We'll gladly replace them for free because we want you to continue to use our tools because we realize that they do have value. They can save you time, which will essentially save you more money. But at the end of the day, it is steel. Steel the, does does Nothing strip out forever. on you. Nothing lasts forever, yes. There you go. Simply put. Exactly. Beamer, exactly. And that's, that's what he was getting at. That's how you keep customers happy. You know what I mean? You have to meet the customer's needs. Just because they cannot offer a lifetime warranty for whatever reason now doesn't mean there aren't ways around it. You know what I'm saying? From the sounds of it, after talking to RJ, if everyone's like him, then this is a great company and it's actually going to go places. From what he says, the, the, the owner is actually in his 60s and is still very ambitious. And he's not a selfish prick. The man's already rich a million times offered. Uh, a million times over, you know what I mean. So it, he works longer hours than I do. Yeah, so it, you know what I mean. They're not out to just get somebody. Yeah, that's that's the the main reason what which drew me to this product is not only is he selling a quality product, he's not he's not trying to price gouge the North American market just ju just to make a buck. Like he's he's been there, done that already. He just he identified. A high quality product that's made by a reputable Japan Japanese company. He showed me the product in the interview, and I and when I held it in my hand, I was like, "This is a fucking good quality tool," and I could definitely use this. And I I I use the Vampires personally just at least once a week, even though I'm not a mechanic. I because I'm a huge DIYer. There, there is definitely a benefit and a need for for these tools. Otherwise, I I wouldn't be here. I I just couldn't. And you guys all watched my reviews. You know what I mean? You've watched them. I mean, yeah, this company send me free tools and stuff like that. But never, never ever will I sit and say a tool is good if I don't believe in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sitting here. The only reason why I'm sitting here talking to him is because I believe their company can go somewhere. Their tools are phenomenal. When Bill and I got them and we had them in our hands, we were actually very fucking surprised. Like, we thought, all right, they're going to send us, you know, a whatever, a bunch of cheap shit, whatever. When RJ said, Bruce, pick anything you want and I'll send it. And I was jerking off. I was like, so I'll take everything. You know, send me one of everything. He said, no problem. I said, what? I was like, oh, Bill, we're fixing to get some cheap shit here. It came in and those lineman's pliers, you could fucking, you could knock a fat chick out with those things, dude. You chuck one of those at a fat chick's forehead, she's fucking out. Oh, I'm where's my eight inch? I got them. I, I know I have them around here. They're in my room somewhere. Um, and, and I'm not kidding you. They're actually a good tool. The uh, the, they the, are the the the, the fucking the, the shears cut through fucking coins. You guys saw it in the video. Like that was not a joke. That was not a trick. Like that wasn't editing or anything. Those sons of bitches. Cut through pennies. We didn't even think it was going to do it. We were like, we'll try it. And sure enough, we were like, dude, we got to put this in the video. Uh, Frankie, but, Spike's actually not doing that good. 
Um, he's, he's sick, and I think if it persists, we're going to have to take him to the vet tomorrow evening, which really sucks. It's a $100 bill every time we bring him. I think he's got another upper rep respiratory infection, sneezing, and uh, it makes me sad. Like, if anything were to happen to him, and I'd be sad. I know it sounds stupid because he's a hedgehog, and trust me, when I first got him for Rachel, I was like, this is stupid. We're getting a fucking hamster with spikes, but... Hedgehogs have personalities. It's crazy. It's like um, it's like in between uh, a hamster and a cat, the IQ level. Except uh, they have attitudes like you know they don't give a shit. If you don't like them, they don't give a fuck. If you don't, they're do this, sassy. They don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit who you are. They don't play games. They quit school because of recess. They uh, they're just and then that. The type of animal grows on you. I don't mean to change the subject, but Spike is like, they're fucking awesome pets. I would thought, man, fuck this thing. I ain't never got nothing to do with it. Now she's mad because he likes me more than her. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, he's got just his own douchebag ways. You know what I mean? Like, the hedgehog is a douchebag. He's a prick, you know? But once you get him and you hold him and you cuddle him up, you know, his quills go down, right? You know what I mean? Like, they have to, if you don't spend time with a hedgehog, you cannot own a hedgehog unless you've got at least an hour a day. All right. I like to handle, I handle him from the time I get out of work all the way to bed. I try not to keep him in his cage. We're actually working on the plans, uh, designing the big cage. It's huge. It's going to be like uh, 10 feet by 7 feet high, all plexiglass. And he's going to have multiple levels in all places to run because I hate keeping him in that box. At nighttime, I try and give him the whole bedroom to run around. And this way here, uh, you know, he's not locked in a cage. Because they're explorers, and at night, they're nocturnal. And at night, he's got his wheel in his, in his little cage thing, and you'll hear him. He will run on that wheel for hours on end. I'm not even kidding. When I say hours, it's hours. So it's like, dude, why would I want to keep him in there to run on that wheel when I can just let him in the bedroom? Let him go and run and run and run. So... Yeah, I love him. I hope he's not too... Last time the infection went away in a week or so. So hopefully that's all it is again. But that's that. We'll get back to the tools. But when it comes to Spike, that's my buddy. I know you guys like seeing him here and there, some of you guys. So I might get him out in a minute. I got to check in on him. So I'll bring... I'll, uh, I'll get him and you guys can see. But thank you very much for asking. Who was that? Uh, that Drew or was that... Um... Is it Hard Knocks? No, it wasn't Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks doesn't give a shit. Uh, oh, Frankie. Okay, thank you, Frankie. And Major, he said, that's not stupid. I appreciate that, Major. Thank you. Oh, Jeff Kennedy. The carpet fibers, it will fuck up their dead. You know, uh, 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 Kennedy, you know, I, I, you know, obviously... That was a concern of mine at first, so when I first put him down and let him run around, I kept a very strict eye on him for a few hours just to make sure he wasn't eating the carpet. And then when I do give him free roam, when I put him down, I put him down next to his food and his water. So right off the bat, he knows where his food and water is and he doesn't have to go eat foreign shit to try and fill his butt. Because he's got some pretty fucking cool shit in his dish, you know what I mean? And... I'm gonna have to get it on video, guys, for you guys. What they have, they have this defense mechanism, where when they eat new foods, they fucking turn around in some weird way and they throw it up all over themselves, and they cover themselves in it. And I guess it's make them smell like whatever they ate. But I know if I was a bigger animal, and that son of a bitch hedgehog smelled like strawberries, I'm eating the fuck out of him. Especially if I was like a big fucking pig or something I just got done smoking a doobie and I smell a strawberry hedgehog I'm fucking his shit up that's mm -hmm. how that's going but anyways back to the tools let's see the questions here I think we had one or two oh bullshit fucker what's up Bruce hey B-Rai what's going on how's it going B-Rai this is RJ uh, he is the marketing manager of Vampire Tools um, RJ B-Rai you guys are acquainted now what's up B-Rai how you doing
Yeah. Is that, oh, is, RJ, there's also a 30 second delay from when you speak to when they hear. Okay, I, I, I'm picking up on that a little bit. Yeah, I'm, hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a spike. For sure. So, guys, I know, I know you're probably not super familiar with the Vampire Tools brand, but if you have any questions or comments, concerns, suggestions, uh, feel free to fire away and I'll answer any questions that you may have. Hey, Frankie, I have been working for the company for my one year anniversary is going to be the first week of May, which is next month. And we are actually a relatively brand new hand tool company that was established in 2011. And this is essentially my first big boy job since I graduated college. So I'm doing everything I can to basically put awareness out of this product. And I've sold other products before. And I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt that I could not be sitting here talking with you all this evening if I did not believe that this was a quality tool that could be beneficial and time-saving. I know I sound like a fucking salesman when I say that, but I the, these pliers really fucking work. And our shears really fucking work. The, I'll, I'll, I'll put, just to put it into perspective, the mechanics at Jay Leno's garage, we sent them a full set of our tools. They came by our booth at SEMA this past year. Uh, and all mechanics, they're, ironically, we, we, our patented technology is our vamp pliers that remove strip screws. Yet the mechanics at Jay Leno's garage, their favorite product within our entire product line was our Kevlar shears. They'll cut through Kevlar, carbon fiber, seat belts, fiberglass, you name it. And and basically, you'll call in and warranty them and have them replaced before they dole out and realize, oh, I'm out of the warranty period. So essentially, we're uh, providing a lifetime warranty as long as you, as you work it right. I'm just working with upper management so that way we can have a blanketed lifetime warranty policy but if you follow my instructions you can basically have a lifetime warranty you just have to call in and place a warranty claim before the end of your warranty period and that's what i do with these headphones my bose headphones that i'm using right now only have a 12 month warranty so what do i do every um every eight to 11 months i call Bose and I have them replaced. Usually there's actually something wrong with them like these buttons go out, but even if there's nothing wrong with them, they'll replace them they'll they will replace them no problem and if this is a set of pliers that you're using on a regular basis, if you notice they're stripping on you, you will probably call and warranty them before you even get close to that 4 year, 5 year um, warranty period. If that I hope that answers your question. Watch him spike up. Oh, we got spiky. Ooh. Jeff Kennedy, we a actually do have them on tool trucks. Um, the, there are a few snap-on tool trucks on the East Coast that are selling our pliers, and they are selling them for twice the price of what they are selling them on our website for because our sales manager actually did a ride-along with one of the tool truck drivers and literally – they're selling our eight-inch van pliers, which retail on our website for thirty-nine ninety-seven, and they're selling them for ninety bucks, and people are buying them. So that, so yes, the tool trucks are carrying them as well as ISN, Medco, and then if you're in Canada, G2S, along with Amazon, our website VampireTools.com, and AircraftToolSupply.com. 
Snap-on does always double the price, B-Ray, and that's why I strongly recommend if you wanted to purchase our Vampires or any of our other tools to go directly to our website, vampiretools.com, and use the coupon promo code BRUCE15 at checkout, and that will give you 15% off your entire purchase. That's that, and that that was basically the best discount that upper management allowed That's me fine. to do, and I and I, and so, and plus there's free shipping, so you can't you can't really beat that. Plus we have a couple of Thanksgiving promos bundles that we put up that are still active because we're trying to get rid of some inventory. So I would strongly recommend if you're trying if you want to at least get exposed and enter into the vampire tools market is to pick up one of our, one of our, um, holiday bundles. Yeah. Those are always Drew's auto. um, always free shipping except Mm -hmm. for, for can, except for Canada and other parts of the world primarily because we've reached a point where the shipping cost is becoming too expensive. Hey Drew, Drew, you really just ordered some? Drew said he ordered some and used the promo code. No, that's awesome. I'll check right now. Hey, hey, hi, the fucking major. Um, the code is good until the end of the year, actually. I mean, I I have the code expiring on December thirty first, uh, basically at at New Year's at midnight. So it, it, as long as long as long as as long as you're not purchasing the tools at, at New Year's at midnight, the code will still be active. RJ, have me just ask a question. Check it out. Third one from the. Do bottom. you have Do you have a catalog or website so we can? What when I type in the website on chat, it it won't post. Sometimes, it's almost yeah, like and sometimes it's like that. What is it? VampireTools dot VampireTools.com. Yeah, it, it, it's VampireTools.com. Dang, how did you get away with posting that website? I couldn't do it. I'm the admin. Okay. Okay, if you go onto our webs website, Drew, and you click on the products section after you exit out of that annoying pop-up, I'm sorry, there's not much that I can do about that right now. But if you exit out of the pop-up on the home home screen, click on our products, and then go to bundled sets. Hopefully they are still there. Oh shit! He just said he didn't see any bundled packages. Drew, no, uh, Drew, they're they're on they 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 are still on Amazon. Um, so send them the link. Uh, cut and paste it. The link to the gift pack, the one my favorite one, with the little oh. the the six inch or the five inch, and then the scissors. Uh, okay, that's actually, my shit, right? That's my fucking. Favorite by far. It oh. comes in a box and it's got a foam organizer in it. So you take that out and put it in your box and it'll keep the two. Yes. Organized. Okay, Drew. My best. Uh, th- th- I I take that back. Our bundle packages are on there. This is how you go to it. Go to, click on our products, and then click on all products, and you will as you scroll down, look for. The bundled sets that have the gold star attached in the image, and those are the best priced bundles that we have right now. They're they're so they're so well priced that I I would personally buy them because we're trying to blow out some of the inventory because we have some black scissors that we're trying to get rid of um, and switch them out for red ones so we've dis- we've just dis- heavily discounted those products um, to get rid of it because we want to be basically uh, we want to keep all all of our handles red you know for continuity I hope that answers your question I 
and and then Drew, um, if you want the needle nose, my my best recommendation is use Bruce's promo code at tr- at checkout, and you will get free shipping plus the fifteen percent off. I'm I'm just waiting for my sales manager to come to come in Monday morning and, and yell at me for putting out that coupon code. But then I'm gonna be like, "Look, Louis, at least we got some sales. Like, what the fuck did you do?" Huh. <laughs> Remember, dude, this is a live stream. You can come back and watch this shit at any time. He, I I know, but he won't. But if he does, yes, if he it it is all it's all in good fun. I have I have nothing against the uh, man. Hard knocks. We are going to talk about colors too. So anything you guys recommend in here will be noted. This way here, we could talk about it with the CEO because they don't just listen to you know what I mean. Like if we say something, they will listen and they will take action. Don't know how soon, but it will it will definitely happen. That's what I like about it, and that's why I'm actually doing this uh, live stream because it's not just a company. It's not like don't get me wrong. We all know I like Snap-ons. I have my ups and downs with Snap-ons, but this isn't a Snap-on company. They're not trying to rob. Not, well, Snap-on doesn't try and rob you. Every tool purchases are a choice, and depending on who you choose to buy them from. But let's just say it like this: if you choose to buy Vampire Tools, you're not going to go broke. But at the same time, Vampire Tools only offer specialty tools in their genre of tools because they don't have O2 sensor sockets. They don't have this. They're just pliers and badass pliers at that. Gus Bus, what is up, killer? Gus Bus, this is RJ from, uh, he's the marketing manager of Vampire Tools. RJ, Gus Bus, long time. Hi, driver. Gus. Nice to meet you. He's a bus driver? No, oh, God damn it! I, I sorry, I sorry. I thought you said that for a second. I didn't know you didn't. <laughs> the g- green handle would be sweet. It, unfortunately, the, the green handle would not really align with the Vampire Tools branding scheme because, when, typically, when when you think vampire, you you think red. That's what I'm a little confused of. I don't know. I understand the concept of vampire tools, because the biting and everything, but I think mm-hmm. the name, that name vampire, that, it, you guys went the wrong route. Yeah, I, I because, did not have know, any choice. Some people just won't buy, actually there was a guy in here who said he will not buy them just because of the name. Be, and because they're because they're so over the vampire twilight, uh, like post-apocalyptic exactly, shit. That's exactly what he said. I read I read that co- I read that exact comment. Did you? Yeah, so I know what you're talking about. Cuz cuz I mean that's what that, I mean you, the the comments that I receive from 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 all of your viewers this is this is how we learn how to develop and make and improve our products. It's I can't just take the people that work in our office about what people need. The only way to know what how to make the best product is to ask the people that need to use them. It sucks. You just can't go and change a name. Like you can't change the name now. That would, that would no, be- no, I I've been working with the trademark office and Amazon. I I I have. The I'll be on the phone for at least twenty name, hours. The only reason that would make sense to change the name is if you couldn't trademark it or copyright it. If there if it was already taken or anything, which you guys would have been sued the fuck by now if it already was. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, vampires and vampire professional tools are trademarked along. We, we, yes, we, we 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 yeah we wouldn't be able to have this conversation unless we had a trademark in, in place. The only thing the only thing that sucks is that say you enter into an exclusive agreement with 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 a reseller, and then some Joe Blow buys a a bunch of buys a pallet of our tools from a reseller. And or or sorry, say Amazon buys a pallet of of our tools from a reseller and puts it on Amazon. We actually lose control of the listing, even though we're essentially listed as the manufacturer. So so that's actually one of the hard things that 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 we've learned is if Amazon is is has personally purchased your product um, and are selling it, you lose control of your listing. 
Uh, that's that, that that's just a random fact. If any of you guys have Amazon stores and and, and Amazon selling any of the products that you guys are selling, I'm gonna put Spike back. I'll be right back. Wanted to check in on him. Drew, that's that's why I created the special coupon code specifically for Bruce's channel and subscribers, so that way. I can provide you the most affordable option in my limited power so that way you guys can get these tools at a good price. Major, uh, at this time, I, we don't have the ability to do green handles with the, with the vampire on them. But it, but fire, fire away with any questions that, 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 that you have. That's, 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 that's entirely why I'm here. And, and Bruce is a super chill guy. I wasn't actually, I wasn't expecting him to be as, as nice as he is. He's definitely probably one of the nicest people, especially since I started working here that I've ever met. No homo or anything. Drew, if you're short on cash, pick up the Thanksgiving bundle with one of one of the bundles with the gold star because that will give you the most amount of product at the least at the at the lowest possible price. Especially if you buy the bundle from our website. And use the coupon code that I created for Bruce. That I, shit, I would buy those bundles and resell them myself if I wouldn't get fired, because that that's a good deal. Hard knocks. I'm white as shit, so I'm I'm into like a nice like tan Pacific Islander type chick, like Hawaiian, Filipino. Uh, someone that can actually go out in the sun without getting skin cancer. And I'm 25 and I look like I'm 14. I get that. Frankie, we actually just came out with a recessed screw extractor. So say you are trying to remove a door hinge on your door and the screw has been stripped and has no head for your pliers to bite onto, we have basically designed a screwdriver with two removable patented bits that will allow you to tap into the screw and basically forcibly remove a stripped recessed screw. And Bruce will actually be doing a demonstration video on, on that new product because Quite frankly, the, the, the product has a lot of value, but not a lot of people, including myself when I first saw it, understand how it works. So once Bruce makes a video basically demonstrating how, how the product works, it, it basically the, the, I, the light bulb will turn on for everybody. Oh Gus, I the I I didn't have any control over over the gold star. Those were actually Thanksgiving holiday bundles, and we just kept them up because we thought they were a good deal, and we were like, why take them down? Hard knocks. You are definitely right about the Hawaiians. Like, dear lord, I can move. I just. I just want I just want to play the stick song and come go sail away go sail away over there and never come back. Nah, I feel so bad for the little booger. Hopefully, he feels better tomorrow. Oh, so we're 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 work we're working on it. We're working on it. I I bought the red hat for my dad for Christmas. I hope that's one step in the right direction. 
Do we need a receipt? Do or do we have to register tools for warranty return? You do not have to register for for warranty returns within the first four years. However, say you're in year and between year four and year five, you would need to register your products so that way we 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 would warranty the product. But because we're such a young small company, it if you if you just called us up and we, we, we would we would gladly replace it at no cost. Oh so what's up? Oh so again, this is uh RJ, the marketing manager of Vampire Tools. RJ, oh so five oh three, good dude, long time subscriber so far. What's up, Oso? How are you doing? Frankie M, are you from Southern California? Juan, I have your tracking number, Juan. Um, it's in my car. Uh, what's his name? Just got his. Sent me a picture of it. Uh, oh, God. Why can't I remember his name? These are the guys I told you I sent the uh, Vampire Tools to. We did the raffle. Okay. Um, Juan was one of the winners. And uh, I sent his out. I got the tracking number for him. Oh, what'd he win? Uh, Juan, I believe, got the extract. No, Juan got two things, I believe. And Robbie Gross got the extractor. Juan got Juan got the eight inch and the uh, Kevlar cutters. Oh, those you're gonna the the six inch Kevlar's or the eight inch Kevlar's? Six inch, I think. Yeah. Okay. I know, so I fuck. I got the windows wide open. I hate it. Yeah, I'm, I had I have I have a buddy that does um, IT for LA Car Guide. They manage like five car dealerships in LA, and he, he I've known him since kindergarten. And he came by my house on like Friday before Easter Sunday, and I showed him all of the tools. And I was like, pick whatever, like pick anything and everything that you want. And the two things that he picked because he works in IT is he grabbed the five inch mini because it's electrostatic dis discharge safe. And then he grabbed the mini Kevlar's as well for cutting fiber optic cable and things like that. And so I'm trying to work on creating more bundled sets that can be more targeted to like, you know, someone that works in IT or someone that works in electrical or automotive. And then that way they could get it at a cheaper price. Hey Juan, do you want me to run out to the car and get you your tracking number? Let me make sure. That the, hey, he's asking. Well, the Bruce fifteen code I, STI. I I think he's checking. He wants to make sure that what the coupon code is. Uh, I'm being a checking. Smart ass. He, he'll sit here and joke around in the chat all day, but the second he goes live, he's lost for words like a little girl. Um, I miss you, Hard Knocks. Oh, Bruce15. Okay, what, I, I confused myself. Yes, and Bruce15 because you get 15% off when you use Bruce's Look at, keyboard. I told you he's being a dick. Hard Knocks. Why? See, you do this in the chat all the time, but then once you get on live, you sit there with a thumb up your ass and don't say anything. Dang, Hard Knox is going at you hard. Hard Knox is my live stream buddy. Yeah, he, I know he he comments on literally every single YouTube video that I watch. Yeah. <laughs> you should get them. I think Monday or Tuesday one. Just a heads up, probably Monday. But what's his name? Got his today. Um, let me see who it was. But I had his in the car already, so I shipped them much earlier. But I made sure this way here, no one could say I didn't ship anything. The only thing I do have to ship this weekend, and it might actually be Mondays, because I have to make a box for it, is the torque wrench. Um, where was it? Oh, so Amazon does not allow us 
to use promo codes and they, 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 they've actually been very difficult to deal with. So the, our website is is the only way to get the fifteen percent off. And I want to do, I want to do the fifteen percent off on Amazon because nearly everyone in in the country has an Amazon account, which makes it much easier as opposed to having to create a new account through our website. Unfortunately, Amazon will not allow us the ability to do fifteen percent off. So you have to go directly through our website in order to get the fifteen percent off. But no matter what, always free shipping even through our website. So it's still cheaper than Amazon. The only caveat is you have to enter some. You have to fill out your you know your red your registration form to create your account. Um and guys, they offered me. Um, and RJ will vouch. They offered me a percentage of money for the um, for the sales that are made through my um, the coupon, coupon code. code. But and you can ask him. I declined the money. Um, he did, and I, I I actually offered. He didn't ask. I I I I'll show you the text messages. I actually cause I offered it to him because I understand that Bruce is spending a lot of time. And energy when you could be doing a lot of other things, but I offer. I said, "Hey, I, I I can give you a percentage of whatever sales are generated at, through use of this coupon code." And he he actually respectfully declined. I can I can honestly say that. And that and, and that's that's actually hard hard to come by. And I'm really fortunate and lucky to to basically to that Bruce even responded and. In and in, in, in is having this conversation with me right now. So I, I appreciate it and I really encourage you guys to check out our tools. And I mean, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't work, re return it. But these tools will save you time. Hold on one which second. Was, one second. I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, no, it's but, okay. Um, who was that? Hold on. Don't leave yet. Don't leave that. Who is that? Uh, Drew, um, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for using that coupon code. It shows that my videos do work at least. I do not want any money. I just want to show that the power of you know us content creators have to help promote a business and get a business out there. So Drew, thank you very, very much for using that coupon code. Uh, again, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh it's all right. I, I I know I know. I tend to talk talk no, more than. No, it's fine. I, it's fine. Just when something like that happens or someone leaves, yeah. I cut it. Well, you gotta have respect yeah. and tell them goodbye. Good night. I'm try, trying to. I'm um, yeah. I'm I'm looking at all of our products right now. Now, if as as a consumer, my two favorite tools are the eight inch Pro and the Long Nose, and I. I almost want to create like a gift box bundle with with the eight inch pro and, and 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 the long nose. We just haven't I haven't been able to sit down with our team and and, and discuss that. But I'm 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 nearly at the point where I'm just gonna say fuck it and and create my own bundles and put them up on the website because I, I the, the every every everyone needs a long nose plier, but having a long nose vamp plier gives you the advantages of a long nose regular plier plus the screw extraction capability as well. Good night, Beamer. Thanks for stopping by. Say good night. Oh, who said something about the 20 off promo code? Say good night, Beamer. Uh, Tell Beamer good night. Good night, Beamer. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully one day I can afford one. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Might get laid actually. Oh guys, I got some new tools today. Um, I actually got these. Oh guys, check it out. Good news. Good news and bad news. So, um, I know a lot of you were interested in Stan's truck. And purchasing items from Stan because he does offer a lot of tools and yes you can get them on Amazon and yes you might pay a couple more bucks from Stan but it's helping someone with their business as well which is what I like to aim my channel towards sometimes is helping other businesses 
Well, Stan retired, and there's a new guy, and he's really ambitious. So I'm pretty sure we're back in business with the, uh, with the tool truck, the other tool truck. The S&K that carries all the other brands. Um, so he's really ambitious. So I'm going to talk to him next Thursday. I'm going to make a video on his truck if he's okay with it. And then we'll be back in business. You guys can hit him up for tools. I just got these. They're brand new. These are by Tool Aid. Um, the part number is 18600. And these are the crimping tools for your electrical connectors. And if you guys have ever seen the, two, the electrical connectors where the wire goes in and it makes two circles around the wire and it crimps it, um, these are the tools that do that. And these are like a necessity. You see them, they go in, the, the, the connector goes into these holes. And when you crimp them, it makes that it makes that perfect, perfect crimp on the wire casing and it comes out phenomenal. And as you can see when you open these, they're the double X's, so they open and close straight. Alright, like straight up and down. They don't um, V off, they up and down, which is really nice. So you get a nice, clean, perfect crimp. These here were $27. They're worth every penny because some of these can get really pricey. And this one has, um, that one there one? Yeah, you have 22 to 24, 20 to 24, 18 to 20, 14 to 18, and 14 to 16. So you have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 different options on these one pair of pliers, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> And I will be doing a video on these with the part numbers and Amazon links. And also, guys, I'm going to tell you, and another video is going to be coming up. YouTube has gone to shit for revenue, all right? We're not making any money from our videos anymore. Like, it's literally going to shit. The one thing I'm going to ask of you guys is because I do do pretty good on Amazon, but that's only because of you guys that go on Amazon and watch and, and purchase from there. So what I'm going to do is in my videos from now on, I'm going to post a link to my Amazon affiliate account. And I ask that if you ever go to shop on Amazon, just click that, click that link. Like go to one of my videos, click the link. I'm going to start putting them in there tomorrow. Or actually now, you can just go and click on any one of the Amazon links. And you don't have to buy that, that tool. Just get to Amazon through that link in my description, through one of the tool links. And once you're in there, go ahead into the search bar for Amazon and type what you want to search for on Amazon. Because once you use that link, anything you purchase after you use one of my links to get into Amazon, I get commission on anything you buy for the next 24 hours on Amazon. That really helps me out, and it really makes these videos worthwhile doing. And here, very soon, hopefully, the quality of my videos are going to go sky high through the roof, hopefully, if everything works out right. And then here within a few months, it's even going to go even higher. Like, I'm, I'm putting everything I got into it. Like, they're going to get, like, lately they've just been shit. But uh, got a little uh, loner camera from Jay Young until I get my camera situation figured out. And that's going to be a lot better than the stupid tablet and the cell phones. So um, uh, everything's going to be, it's, it's going to go through the roof. Everything's going to look great. It's going to be very professional. It's going to be movie quality. Um and it's just going to be really good. I do ask that you guys do use the Amazon links and just to get into Amazon. Once you use the link, get into Amazon, make your purchases through there, and that helps me out drastically. So um, that would be a big, big help. Yeah, Bam. Amazon's basically been our gateway to the world in terms of data collection because more people buy on Amazon than, than through pretty much any other online platform. Um, besides the the, mo the the mobile dealers, so it really it really helps me to learn what products you guys are liking, and then ways that and then, and then if I see that we're selling a lot of one particular product, I'll put it basically in in, in a laboratory and put a team together and see how can we improve this product. People obviously like it. How can we make it better? And input like from conversations like these is what allows us. To make better products, so I appreciate I appreciate all your input. 
I really, really firmly believe that Vampire Tools is going to take off. Um, it's it's already gone so high, like so much further since you know they've been sending tools out to YouTubers. Like these, I, I couldn't believe it. I was just telling him a story. Um, I guess plus I might set up a Patreon. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Actually, I have one set up. I don't promote it. I'm not sure how it works. And I'm not going to sit and beg for money. At least with Amazon, all you're doing is one click. You're already buying what you're buying. You're not giving up any of your extra money to, to me or my channel. So I'd rather... And you're not getting way. ripped off. I'd, I'd, I'd rather do it that way because then you're just you're already going to buy what you're going to buy. I just get a percentage of it that way. So it's not like you're just giving me your money. So I'd much rather it that way. Um, but... Um, what was I saying before that? Patreon oh, yeah, and something. Patreon. Oh, um, the fact that uh, Vampire Tools are going to go somewhere. It's, it's, oh, that's what it was. I was just telling RJ about the story of Bill and I actually meeting the Vampire Tool, uh, the Vampires the other day. Um, Bill and I were working on a Saturn. Well, he was working on a Saturn, and there were uh, we were taking off the intake manifold, and it had a Nissan engine in it, and we were taking off the intake manifold, and they were torques, and they were all fucking corroded, rotted out, and the torques were all stripped out, but we had no other way to get these out, and we totally forgot about the Vampire tools, and we were like, well, fuck it, this would be the perfect time to use them, so we grabbed them, and unfortunately, I wish I was allowed to film at work, um, we, we grabbed the Vampire tools, and with F without any effort whatsoever, nothing else would work, no other pliers would work, Vampire Tool yeah, took the fasteners right out, each and every last one of them. It, it was so nice. Because normally, if that didn't work, then you'd have to drill, extract, possibly tap, you know what I mean? It becomes a headache. So these prevented us from having to do all of that. They are really such a great tool. And you guys know my reviews. If I don't like something, I don't like it. You know what I mean? They offered me money. I didn't take it. I'm not going to sit here and lie and promote their company when I get nothing out of it. You know what I mean, yes, they send me tools. They offer me shit. You know, I can ask for anything and he'll send it to me. But that's not why I'm doing it. And I don't take advantage of that. And um, it's just a great fucking tool, man. They will really save your ass. I was really, really blown away by them. I can honestly say that. It's the only reason why I keep working for them actually it's because i they, they they i mean we 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 make a good product i i i'm sorry that i can't get fully around the lifetime warranty yet but we make a good product and i can outline a way to where you can essentially always have a lifetime warranty but my main goal is van the van pliers should be the only pair of pliers in your toolbox because they satisfy all the applications that regular pliers use plus the screw extraction capability that's that was basically my our founders mission statement it really is once you have these pliers you will not need any other pliers you guys can literally dominate the plier market by putting your pl the ends of the pliers on every type of plier just go and look at the types of pliers snap-on makes and make the same thing. You can you can make the same plier without and beat around the patents and everything because every company does it. They're pliers. You know what I mean? Like Snap On doesn't have exclusive rights to the plier design because all pliers are, are the same. You know what I mean? The same design, they just might be a little thicker, a little thinner, whatever have you. But if you did every type of plier that Snap On or any tool company has, the, the 90 degree uh, needle nose, the, the fucking the, the needle nose like these where they open open and close straight rather than the V. You know, like, all of them. You guys can fucking dominate. But I know that's out of your control because the other brand has to make them for you to get them. You guys don't have a factory. You know, to produce yep. the products. So, but I guarantee after we, all, we have our, our, I wouldn't be surprised if after we have our, our meeting, that we can make something happen with a lifetime warranty. Obviously, we can't change the main the USA part, but I think once me, you, and the boss talk, 
that we might be able to really, really enforce the lifetime warranty. Mm -hmm. Yep, and 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 as as much as I I'm trying to push for the made in the USA There's label it's because control. it's out of my it's out of my control and you guys would have it, to start up a whole new factory, a whole new and let's be real, it's cheaper to make them out of the country. But I'd rather buy something from Japan than China. Let's, you know, let's keep it real. Yeah, I was talking Japan to Japan makes some good shit. I was talking to a, a bunch of people from Turkey actually a few weeks ago, and I said, and I asked them, I'm like, I'm like, because they they told me they're like, America isn't really perceived internationally as the like the highest quality product anymore. Usually internationally, when they look for high quality products, they look to Germany and Japan. And I was actually kind of taken aback by that statement. Maybe he was blowing smoke out of his ass, but. Uh, according to him, that's what the international community it is ha, is looking to in terms in terms of quality tools right Japan, now. Japan is killing it now. They are mm. killing it. And because what happens is, say you come up or I come up with a brilliant idea, and you know how to manufacture the product, but in order for you to manufacture your dream product, you, it, and you need to be able to manufacture it at an affordable price so then you can then in turn sell it at an affordable price and living in California it, it I it's it, it's it's more trouble than it's worth oh, if we one if, second. Jeff this is all that's left since I got these two or three days ago I did this all by myself this bag was slam full huh I don't know if you're still in here or not but I can't fucking stop, Jeff. That was the best gift ever. Sorry, RJ, go ahead. I'm going to get Wong's tracking number over here, guys. It's all good. I, 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 I could, I could just keep, 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 keep rambling and, and, and ranting. I just don't know how, how relevant it, it is to what it is in terms of answering your questions so if you if you guys have 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 more questions keep 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 firing away it it, it means hard as you can i'll answer them Yes, they have freaky fetishes, and they actually have cuddle cafes. Where I watched a documentary. I haven't actually been to been to Japan. My sister has been there, but because more people are basically the birth the birth rate has declined, so less people are being born, and they have a huge population of old people. So the sex trade in Japan has like skyrocketed. It's like fucking insane. Uh, Bruce, I think, stepped out for a minute to take care of the dog or to put his Swedish fish away. I'm not ex entirely sure. But I hope he'll, he'll be back soon. No, Nick, this is not... A Harbor Freight line of tools. These are made in Japan of hardened Kobe steel. I have personally met with all of the men that work in Japan at the factory. I have not personally been to the factory, but I have weekly Skype meetings with everyone at the factory con constantly to make sure that our product is the highest quality possible and any changes that I actually, I actually, I literally read through all of your comments and then I put them into a spreadsheet. I sit down with a team of about six people. We throw it up on a 60 inch monitor and, and we read through all your comments and, and we listen to them to see how we can improve our products. And cause it's, I mean, we, it's it's it doesn't make any sense for us to sell you something that you won't use or don't need. Like everyone's always looking to to make a quick buck, but 
I can't sleep well at night knowing that I'm selling you a piece of shit. All right. I got another new tool to show you guys. This one was a bit pricier, but one. Um, Juan, is it okay if I put your tracking number on here? It's just going to show the town if anyone were to look at it. It's just going to show the town. Um, If the shop, if the shop, you would do. Oh, oh, it's posted. It's just a tracking number. Are you eating Swedish Swedish fish? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Jeff Kennedy sent me a fucking five pound bag of them. I crushed fucking three quarters of it. Bruce, just ago. make sure you floss before you go to bed. I floss every night. Brush my teeth three, four times a day. My mom's a dentist. She's a Nazi about... Bl she's she's always like, only flush the teeth you want to keep. Oh, me and your mom... <laughs> we talk about flossing. I, I, I wish I flossed as religiously as she does, but she's, she's, she's fucking right about that. It wasn't until a few years ago where I actually started flossing. Now I'm addicted to it. I have those floss sticks with the toothpicks on the other end. Uh -huh. I can't stop. It's unbelievable. I mean, I, I feel like a new person in the morning when I, when I wake up and do that. Are you publicly traded or private company? Do you have a start? Since I'm local, I can get a free pair of pliers. We're, oh, um, Hemi, we are we we are technically a we are we are a privately family owned business. But our goal is to grow and hopefully turn this into a public company. That 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 would be our main goal. Yeah, F Frankie, if if you think that you can use the pliers and sh 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 show them to your show them to your friends and maybe give us a, g a good review, uh, we can meet up maybe even this weekend and I can give you a few pairs. Unless Frankie's just looking to get some free tools. Um, hold on. Um, where's? Hey, beer stud. Try removing a strip screw with a pair of channel locks, and then try our set. It's gonna be like night and day. Basically, our philosophy is show and sell. If I show you the tool in person, it will sell because um, they actually work. RJ, um, I sent you a link to that email we were talking. Look on your phone. Yep. That's the email you were looking for before. Sweet, thanks. No problem. Oh, so we just came out with the recess screw extractor and the long nose this year, um, like within the last couple of months. So we are we we're we're about to approach the planning stages of the next new products to release. So I can't give you that information yet pre mo only because I don't know. It's not because I can't tell you. I just, we, 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 we're not there yet, but, 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 but I'm, I'm pushing them to get there.
Uh, Juan, did you get that info? Nick, when we do our demos, oh, you guys, um, you're welcome. At, 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 Nick, when we do our demos at trade shows, we, um, in terms of demonstrating how to remove a pair of strip screws with pliers, we actually use the Stanley Fat Max pliers. Um, we have them try using the Stanley Flat Max pliers, and people actually end up cutting their finger trying to remove a strip screw with those Stanley pliers. And so we have to carry band-aids literally at the trade show booth because their serrations are not intermeshed or or omnidirectional. So it will slip out on you every single time simply by the laws of physics, which is why no one else can basically – virtually no other plier can do what our pliers do because of the technology and the design is patented. So no one can really take that away from us. I know Snap-on has gotten close with a couple of their tools, but they are not they 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 are not nearly as good and reliable as the vampires. And Nick, um, I we are exploring trying to create a vice grip channel lock style vampire because you guys do that and forget we, I, it it's lights out that'll that i i that's, I'm, it. I that's that's what every that's what like nearly every single person has said is i want i want a channel lock style vampire and so i'm i'm vice basically grips, pushing channel lock I, 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 mean, I mean yeah vice grips sorry so every everyone's been if you read through YouTube comments of our previous um, vampire tools reviews, you'll 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 see a trend that everyone says, w "When's the vice grip version coming out?" Or I want I want a vice grip version of this, and I can I completely understand and and understand that and agree with you. I just need to find out um, can we even do it? Like, is the vice grip design? patented and do we have are we going to be able to do You'll it be able to do it every company has vice grips husky cobalt snap on mac it's, it's, okay you know what i mean it gets, it's an open market you're good to go on that i guarantee it you do that okay you're going to get a lot of new customers i'm sure these guys will agree that was the first thing bill and i said because then this way here you get a nice strong bite and you don't have to worry about squeezing it yeah because it holds in place it. I'm I I I'm with you I, I'm I'm with you there. With that with that being said, that's probably going to be like the biggest product new product you recommendation guys, that I'm going to push this year. You guys don't realize how much potential you have, because really, you're recreating every brand of pliers. You have hundreds of different styles of pliers, hundreds. Okay, and if you guys turn all of them into your patented tips. That's it. You know what I mean? That's it. You won't have to worry about another yeah. fucking fastener ever again. And you'll definitely be the only brand pliers you need. Because if you have something they don't. You have the patent on that tip. Okay? Now, they can go out. And Which makes them multifunctional. If any company starts seeing that be successful, they're going to go and do the same thing. They might add an extra tooth or whatever to beat the copyright or to beat the patent right. But... Mm -hmm. You'll be the first ones with it, so you'll be known for it. Just like when Snap-on comes out with a tool, and uh, uh -huh. or any company comes out with a tool, the first person to come out with that tool is always known as the best for that tool. Or it sure seems it's that funny way. that you. You're the second person I've heard that from today. I it er, earlier in a meeting, this guy came in and he said that's why Five Hour Energy became so popular is. They, they were the first one to come out with that shot of yep, energy. And look how many that, knockoffs there's been. Like Mo Monster Energy tried it. They failed. And yep. Red Bull tried it. They failed. Well, everyone's Nearly gonna fail. all the other beverage companies. But it's all, and so it, to get back to your point, it's all about be, you kind of need to be the first one in that space, which is why we, if we have the patent on the technology, I just need them to make a fucking vice grip version. Do you, do you have any <laughs> idea how much money Five Hour Energy makes? That guy really became a millionaire, a multi-millionaire over the course of like a month. From once he delivered that product <laughs> in stores 
he was within a month's time he was a multimillionaire. Now he has so much money, he doesn't know what to do. He's like investing it into cures and how to save the planet and shit, like all different methods to save the planet. Like he's got so much money, yep. he doesn't know what the fuck to do with it, so he just donates it to good causes. Guys, here's the uh, here's the tool, the set I bought today. This set, um, do me a favor, RJ, look this up. It's the tool okay. company is. Uh, It looks like it's Star Products, and the part number is TU-16. You could probably find it on Amazon. Uh, Lang Tools Transmission and Engine Oil Pressure? Yep. How much is it? Hovering right around 100, between 120 and 133 bucks. Oh, no shit. I got mine for, this was off the tool truck, guys. Stan's old tool truck. The new guy bought from him. Bought Stan's old company. Got it for $102. God, my fuck. Oh, oh dang. I, I, this is the first time I've, I've, I've heard of a tool truck being, being cheaper. And they, literally, the only reason why I bought this, because usually shops supply stuff like this, but I have to have all my own. So and I this I had ran into needing this myself days in a row for two jobs, so I needed it. So I bought it. It's actually a very nice set. You have all your adapters and fittings for your uh, for your transmission, and your uh, you know you take out um, your oil pressure send your oil pressure sensor switch, and you screw these in, and then you put your adapters in, and. Uh, check your uh, oil pressure and there are two different gauges for uh, different readings like how high they go PSI and uh, bar and um, whatever else and it's nice it's got everything you need really can't go wrong for 102 bucks I was stoked oh, I thought actually I thought it was gonna be a lot less on Amazon and I guess this is just a rebrand obviously it's just a thicker on there so I guess Lang is the original maker of it but it's a really nice kit. 102 bucks wasn't bad. Um, That's a good deal. I, not even Jet.com is that in, in, in Amazon. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a good deal. Yeah, I actually got Especially, this. Those pliers were 27 bucks, so it was it was 100 and yeah 100 or 27 dollars, and this was 102.60, so it was 130 dollars for for uh, this and those pliers. My toolbox. Wait till my next toolbox tour, guys. Pfft. Forget it. Fucking forget it. And yes, Matthew, we, we, we are on Amazon. We're on Amazon. We're on Newegg, Bonanza, eBay, and VampireTools.com. Oh, I have to answer this question. And then, oh, so, yes, I did get a new wheel. Sure did. He's, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, he's on it right now. I can hear it. And the fact that he's on his wheel is very good. It makes me know that he feels a little bit better. He's not on it like he normally is. Because he puts some miles on that thing. I guarantee, if I had to say, he puts a mile on a wheel a night. If I had to say. It might even be more. Because you got to think, he runs on it for about three hours straight. Yes, hard knocks. You are right. Um, you're not you, gonna do that. cheaper. Yes, thank you. For you're not gonna do out. better than Amazon. And so go to our website and use the and use Bruce's coupon code. That was the main reason why 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 I created why I created that coupon code. Save, save your my at at this time. No, we do not. But the way that I've been trying to get around it is to create these Thanksgiving holiday bundles. And so my recommendation to you is add the bundle to your cart and then use Bruce's coupon code. And that 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 that, that I you can't even really get. Like low, that many low quality pliers sometimes for, for that price. 
Because like, I, 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 that's that, that's what I would do. It, like, person, I would, I would, I would personally do that. I would buy the bundle and then use Bruce's coupon code to check out. And again, for anyone that's just joining, I do not profit from my coupon code. It was designed to have me profit from it, but I declined. I do not profit from it. So this isn't just to push the coupon code so I can make some money. Not make a dime off of any sales vampire tool. I declined all the money they offered me. Yes, he did. And let's see. Jeff Kennedy, have a good night. We love you. Thank you so much for the candy. You're awesome, dude. I st man, I'm telling you, I've never saved shit that people sent me until I started YouTube. And I've never been able to keep a pen. And Jeff, I love that pen. I fucking love it. I use it every fucking day. I love it. I, people ask me where I got it. I tell them they don't believe me. <laughs> and, you know, like, just thank you so much, Jeff. It really does mean a lot. Don't think for one second I don't appreciate it. I will. I have a very special video coming out tomorrow. It should be out tomorrow or Sunday, and you are included in it. Um, Nick, uh, I don't. I don't want to take a cut, Nick. Um, RJ and I discussed other things before, and you know what? They sent me. RJ has sent me. I'm not even going to say them because it was RJ. Mm -hmm. RJ sent me their whole entire line of tools. And then on top Times of that, two. I gave them the bill, all right, when they sent them to me. Um, because Bill did the, uh, the review on them, and Bill really, really liked them. So I gave them the bill. And then I told them, I contacted them, I told them that I gave them the bill. And I was like, dude, can you just send me the one two-piece combo set? Because that's my favorite with the scissors and the, the six-inch... Uh, uh, van pliers that's my favorite set I love it the perfect size and um, and he goes yeah I'll send them to you no problem no questions asked when I said that even though I told him I gave him the bill he goes you know what I'm gonna send you the whole lineup again you know? and fucking sure enough three days later at my door a big ass box of tools with more than that was in it the first time all sorts of cool shit I actually did something on time which is for once. Yeah, so did I. I shoot shit, shit on time. Because I'm, 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 I'm usually late, so I, I, that's actually impressive that I got them to you that quickly. The first time you did too. That's awesome. That's that's actually really good to hear. I, and and guys, in terms of the lifetime warranty. I'm I'm I I'm working my ass off to to push it, and I'm trying to get around it with this warranty registration card of extending it to five years, and to compensate on top of that, I want to try to do more chat sessions like these to inform all of you that we may not offer a lifetime warranty, but I can show you how to basically w replace the tool as if. It, we had a lifetime warranty, I if think, that makes sense. I honestly think, RJ, that once we have this little business meeting, that lifetime warranty will be in the card soon. If anything, mm -hmm. if anything, I think I'm, I'll be able to convince your boss that to create a promo code where if someone orders with my promo code, then maybe mm -hmm. even just that promo code will give them lifetime warranty. Mm -hmm. I never even... S something like that. never even thought you of that. I mean? Okay. To their prime, to their prime salespeople, like say I make, I get more sales for Vampire Tools than anyone else or whatever, or maybe mm -hmm. the top five sellers have a promo code that they offer, where their promo code offers the lifetime warranty. Now that's a good idea. The, 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 yes, that 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 I I I, I agree with you I there. I guarantee I can get them to go for that. I'd like to talk. Well, you know, well you're gonna sit up that yeah, meeting. We, Yes, yes, if it, yeah. I, 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 I wish I got on it sooner today, we could have talked today, but I didn't know he was in that big of a rush. Yeah, and for sun, Friday nights, he likes to burn burn the, the the midnight oil. As long as I give him some some advance notice, then we then we then we then we can schedule it. But I'd like to do it next week. The sooner the the sooner the better. That that so that way we can we can just keep moving forward.
Guys, another 10 minutes and we're going to be rolling out. I got to get some sleep. I have a doctor's appointment at 1030. So we'll go another 10 minutes. And uh, Sorry, Hard Knocks. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not into that type of lifestyle. Don't fucking lie, dude. <laughs> you sucked the shit out of my dick right before this <laughs> live stream. Hear yeah, me? you, you, as, as my dad would say, you, yeah, you wish. <laughs> he, no, he's like kind of weird wish like and that. It came true. Disney told me if I wish upon a star, I wish upon mm-hmm. each and every last one of those motherfuckers. It came you. Well, well, go, go go hit up Walt. I'm sure he's tucked away up in the castle. Supposedly, has like a private apartment up there in Disneyland, to where he would like take whoever i don't know if it was men or Mouse. women or like the castle at disneyland walt disney has an apartment in there uh, like a like had an apartment <laughs> <laughs> had out. an apartment <laughs> yeah he wasn't in a cryogenic state as far as i heard <laughs> i don't did, does that shit even he's gonna exist like forever young he's gonna come out they're gonna thaw him he's gonna age fucking a million times faster and he's just gonna die right away anyways did you see that one movie recently called Passengers with Jessica Lawrence and that one dude where they're on that ship going to Mars and the one guy wakes up early? No. Uh, it, 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 it's it's kind of trippy, really basically. The story? <laughs> no. I said no. <laughs> I say a lot of uh, God, stupid, irrelevant night, shit. Thanks for stopping by. You guys are awesome, as always. Really are. Thank you so, so much, guys. I was surprised. I think we had like 40 people watching at one point at fucking 2 a.m. Jesus. I guess that's like 11 west. It, it's it's midnight here, but I'm, I'm surprised that, it, I mean, the second I start talking, people probably want to click click out because I just like to, I you won't know, shut up sometimes. You've been very informative tonight. I really appreciate you coming on here. You've been very informative. So you... These guys took well to you. They really did. I told you, man. There's, these are a great group of guys. Even the even the trolls, all the guys that used to be trolls, making all stupid comments and shit. Now they're on here like normal people, man. I can't, couldn't ask for a better group of subscribers. I really couldn't. It's I just I I don't like beating around the bush. Like if some, I mean, if if something's not, I just I, I I'm I'm an honest human being when it comes to selling and sometimes that's not always a good thing but i i want to tell people what i would want to hear if i were the customer because you you know it's like the golden rule treat people the way you want to be treated that's right uh that's 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 the way that i operate so if you ask me a question about our product even if it's a flaw i'm not going to bullshit you and i'm going to be straight up and honest with you but i will also always do the best I can to provide you with a solution to fix the problem if there is one. Now, hold on one second. Frankie, I'm going to be straight up, dude. I'm going to be straight up right now. I pulled him from the door that in this live stream not to offer free tools, okay? And for this reason. One, because everyone and their mother is going to hit them up. Alright? Now, I'm Tonight's going to be your lucky night because I'm going to give him the option. Obviously, he can do it himself, but I gave him my point of view, my opinion, and he did agree with it. But if he sent, if if he decides to send you a pair of pliers or anything, the one thing I ask of you, and I like you, Frankie. I do. You're on here all the time. You seem like a real good guy. The one thing I'm going to ask you, I don't care if you've never done it before. I don't care if you monetize it, don't monetize it. I ask that if he does of the kindness of his heart, send you a pair of pliers that you make a video of it. No matter the quality of it, make a video of it and in the title put Vampire Tools. That's going to be the only thing I ask. So from here on out, you two can discuss it in email. But, uh, oh, <laughs> I just went on that rant for nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're here begging for free tools. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you are hypothetically asking for them. That that's all you do is make because it helps him and it it does him a solid and it shows his boss that he's being proactive. That's all. And if I send you free tools, just it, and and then I tell my boss that I sent this person a free set of tools with the expectation of a review, and I don't get and then there's no review, then I look like a 
like kind of I look like an asshole basically to my boss and because I, I tell him one thing and and, and then basically n- n- nothing happens and then he can't rely on me so I can't just blindly send out fr- free tools as much as I'm I may like to I I have people that I, I that I have that I'm accountable to as well if, if that if that makes sense but I will say that if there is one person I mean these are all great guys but obviously I hit you first, but I, Frankie, I, I think uh, he, I think he would pick by his word. I think Frankie. Would. I think Frankie actually wants to meet up and like grab a beer and go to the beach first before he, free tools. Now that he says that, he says, because I'm, this is what he's saying. He says I'm trying to have him offer his product to my company. I work for a worldwide company that can help you to grow your company. Oh, there you go. That might, that's Ooh. definitely something to look into. Frankie, are you able to tell me what company you work for in live do, chat? Do or, that, or do I need no, to no, email? No, do, do that uh, email. email. Do that through, that's uh, personal information. I don't want any of these guys putting uh, out their inf- personal information. Uh, all right, Frankie, I'll, 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 I, it might, it might not be until tomorrow afternoon after I wake up because I, I, I seldomly get, 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 get to sleep in, but I, I will definitely, I'm, I'll copy, I'm copying all this and I'll, I'll, I will make sure to email you. Maybe we and then we can meet up maybe this weekend or something, or at least have a schedule call. Gus Bus, did you uh, did you contact the postal company, Gus Bus? Please let me know about that. Got to get in contact with the postal company. I don't want that thing just ending up in la la fucking land because that's like an eighty dollar tool. So I would like it to be found at least. Hopefully, if it doesn't get sent somewhere, no, someone's on a dirt bag and it gets returned back to sender. You know, I just. Um, you know, I that's just a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah, I just don't want a fucking tool out there that's eighty dollars lost and nobody has it. Whether it's me, whether it's you, you know, like, just uh, please make sure you contact the postal company. All right. Any other questions you guys have for RJ? Bet them out. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you got, shoot it at me. Because I know. I, I, I know it's I'm almost four. Out. It's it's three a.m. Where 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 Bruce is. I'm I'm sure he he'd like he'd like to get some sleep. But if whatever questions you guys have, hand, hammer them out because I'm I'm ready for them. Funny because questions the name of my dick. So if you're ready for, me. fuck no. <laughs> oh, you got the package, my... Gus? Fuck yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't get all fucking excited over here, uh, RJ. Hold on, Gus. What'd you think? Great condition, huh? Man, I'm so glad you got it because I didn't think want you to think I was bullshitting. I just sent out a piece of paper with a tracking number or something. <laughs> I've seen people do that shit. Well, the tracking number says it was there, and then you got a piece of paper, didn't think nothing of it, threw it out. Hard knocks, go fuck yourself. Jump off a bridge, you dirty fuck. Hard knocks comments on everything. That's what happens when you're a low-life loser that gets fucking ain't violated by your dad at the age of three and touched by your uncle at the age of four. and then. I'm just wondering what he does for a living in order to have this much time to comment on YouTube because I... Nothing! Um, His I do... wife is the breadwinner. He sits at home. Hard knocks, I love you. You know what I mean? But you dig my ass as much as I dig in yours with a spoon. Motherfucker sits at home. His wife brings home the bacon. He doesn't got to do a goddamn thing. It's called living the dream. Bruce, I apologize for Ben. No, you're not annoying at all, Frankie. Not annoying at all, I promise you. Not at all, dude. That's what this is here for. Say and do whatever you want. As long as you're not mean to anybody or, or being uh, racist or anything, I don't care what you say. Look at uh, uh, Hard Knocks is living proof of that. You hmm. um, know what I mean? He uh, comes out, has fun, busts everyone's balls, that's fine. As long as it doesn't get racist, as long as nobody's picking on nobody for real, uh, or cause any problems? I don't mind, man. That's what I'm saying. If you look at this whole chat, this this whole feed, it's nothing but uh, awesomeness, man. There's yeah. no hostility anywhere. You go into any other yeah. feed, people are arguing with each other. Mm-hmm. This person's stupid. That person. I love it, man. 
I don't care if there's... T I'd rather have 18 people that are in here right now not arguing, not fighting, having a good time than having 2,000 with everyone bitching. Wait, hard knock. So, are you are you like a are you like a stay at home dad? And your mom, and I'm sorry, your sorry, mom. not your mom. Your 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 wife, your wife is is basically like the sugar mama. Yes, that's exactly it. I'm not. I I I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say mind it. What having do you say that. About holding your backbone. Say it. Say it, RJ. I wouldn't mind having that type of lifestyle, but at the same time, I. I, I I would I as a man I need to be doing something that is self fulfilling, and if you have a fi family and kids and that's self fulfilling enough for you that 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 that's great. But as much as I'd like to be a stay at home dad, I I like actually having having a job and working with my hands. Otherwise, I'd probably just I I feel like I'd just be gardening all the time like some like fruity person or something. I don't know. I just I, I, I like to work. I like I, I like I like I'm a tactile person. I, I like I like to work with my hands as much as I like to sleep in and be a stay at home dad. I I, I feel like that wouldn't give me oh, enough you have satisfaction to have sex with a woman to be a stay at home dad. I've had one girlfriend and she's like a porn star. You fucking lion stack of shit. He, Just because you watch a girl on TV and beat off to her doesn't mean she's your fucking girlfriend. He, uh, he you want to see? You want to see? You want to see? You want to see my prom picture? Your prom picture? I could Photoshop shit too. Let me see. So how do you feel knowing that that broad banged like fifty thousand dudes before you? Plus, I paid for her fake implants after we broke up. What? Thinking. Because I thought that she would come back. Never, don't, don't ever do that, dude. Because if they come, if they, they say no and they come back only because you offer them something, it's not for you, dude. Like, and I could sue her and get my money back, no, but I love can't. her too you much to do that. You can sue everyone. You cannot sue her and get your money back. It's going to be physically I, impossible. I, not if I have text messages saying I will pay you back. That's technically uh, a legal yeah, contract. Then, then you might, but still... Text but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste not my time that, doing that. Text messages don't hold up in court because there's so many apps where you can fake a text message. You have mm -hmm. to go back and get records from the phone company that those texts mm -hmm. actually. Oh, I've done that before. I've done that before. But texts don't. Uh, hold but up it's in court. it's more trouble than it's worth, and I should have just not been a fucking dumbass to begin with, and signed on the dotted line because she had shit credit and. I had good credit, and she was like, oh, I'll make the payments. And then all of a sudden, I get a 30-day late notice in the mail. And so it's like, do I want my credit to go down the shit or no? So I, I got, I was forced stuck paying the bill. Four or five grand? <laughs> she did a five-year payment plan. So it, it was like a five-grand deal that turned out to be like probably between six and eight because of five years of interest. Yeah. Because you – so That's so okay. yeah, it, it bettered your credit if you want to look at it that way. Actually, I y yes. Or did they not report and, to the credit bureau? No, it reported to the credit bureau, but I've had I've my my dad put a credit card in my name since I was four years old, so I have twenty one, twenty two years of credit history. See, a lot of people so, don't realize that's the way to go. Always, always, always. And, I, know I have an 805 credit score, and so I didn't need her to help to help me get that. No, no. It, I know a lot. My of dad that made that kids, happen. They use their kids' names for bills and stuff. You know what I mean? Not yeah. Have kids. you watched the show Shameless on Netflix? No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It cut out. Oh, you're good. Because <laughs> in the show Shame, I don't know if you've watched the Netflix show Shameless. Uh, but the, the 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 alcoholic father Frank Gallagher basically uses the like the socials of all of his six children to get in and, and, and he basically uses their social and takes out credit cards and these kids aren't even eighteen yet and they have thousands of dollars in debt because he used their social to get credit cards to feed his drinking problem. Well, I, I, I don't, well, dude. That's when you know you have a drinking problem, when you have to take out credit cards so forth. Drinking's the cheapest habit you could fucking have. Uh, like a, yeah, yeah, a I, vodka, you can get a, you can get a half gallon of Vladimir vodka 
for like fifteen dollars, a half a gallon. Mm. But what if you live in Detroit and you love just socializing at the bars? You're paying three times the price for the same stuff. Yeah, if you're at the bar, but that's when I bring a flask in. No one would bring in. Hang on. He, he's not that smart. It, oh, the guy okay. in the show. places you know people people hide things they want to bring in flasks well you know i gotta do it bruce allen you know what i mean i go and i hide my flask i bring it in but i'm ready to do it that's how i that's how i fucking get it in right there Here's holy shit that's i don't right, even know God if i could fit it. that that's a bruce allen flask right there go what do you do duct tape home. that thing to your leg uh, look at it if, uh, it's even contoured to fit to it see that <laughs> That's all got, I do. Got that ergonomically I'm fit and everything. Buy hard knocks. Blue. That's a fucking flask and a half right there. Look at this. I don't, I don't know how it works. There we go. Boom, look at that. Oh. So this means you can get yourself drunk and the broad you're with. That means you're guaranteed to get laid. This is the date rate 5,000 right here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Crush a little Xanax oh up in there. Let him, let him sit. Give her some swigs of it. Xanax. Tell her your name is Bill. And in the morning, she won't remember shit. All she knows is some guy named Bill. Tell her you're black. Although After we get off because you're not YouTube, I, I'll, I, I'll share something with you on, in regards to that. <laughs> guy, I have a good story. Not so much a story as much as, a, as, 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 as some shit I want to show you. Don't pull out that little pecker, please. Oh, it's a, hey, it, it, it's any, it's anything but little. Oh, God damn it, you sound just like my fucking dad. <laughs> that's because I am your dad. <laughs> he's like, he, he's, he's just as salacious as, as you are, even though he's like a dentist and supposed to be like professional. But like when we like, like on the weekends, like it's he he's a f fucking sailor, <laughs> just, just 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 like you are. But that's like I mean that's what that's that, that's that's what he, normal human beings are. I feel. Uh, like. Hang on. And, uh, yes, we have important now. Serious talk. Serious talk. Um, okay. James. Uh, yes, we brought it up. We're gonna. Uh, that's gonna be the hardest goal of everything. Like I said, me and RJ here have to have, oh, by the way, RJ, James, James, RJ. Hi, James. RJ is the marketing manager of Vampire Tools. Um, but uh, that's going to be the hardest, uh, hardest part of everything. I think we'll achieve the lifetime warranty before the Made in USA, because basically, obviously, if they're not Made in the USA, Vampire Tools rebrands from another company in Japan. So, they basically have to open up their own factory in order to label a product uh, made in the USA. I believe it's something like high 80s or low 90 percent of the product needs to be made in the states. So it's highly unlikely, and that's just an honest answer. Yes, and I I understand where all of you are coming from with the the, well, the made in the USA one, label. One more thing, hold on. Nick Nick uh, Kernley made a very valid point. Uh, Knipex is what Germany, I think, or something like that. Um, yeah, Knipex. Knipex is German. Right, and Knipex is the only the only pliers. Well, and actually, the only reason why I say the only pliers better than Vampire's tools, and you can't even say that because even these are two different Knipex. You're not comparing apples to apples. Are again two different types of pliers, but in their category, Knipex. By far, hands down, the best pliers on the face of this earth. But vampire pliers are the same style as Knipic pliers because vampire vampires are made to extract. All right, Knipic isn't really driven towards that uh, technique. So again, each in their own company, each have their own things to offer. But I will say. That if somehow Knipix and Vampire Tools came together to make a fucking pair of pliers, it, that that would be the godly set of pliers there. That would be 
Epix and Vampires came together, Vampire Tools came together, no company on the face of this earth would ever match that product as far as pliers go. It would be the ultimate, ultimate set of pliers because we all know Kinepix makes the best normal pliers. And now I'm, I'm fed straight that Vampire Tools is my favorite, favorite set of pliers. But Kinepix is my favorite set in that, in that style. For that, app, for that application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's hard to say. I couldn't pick one, but that's actually a good thing because they both serve their own purposes. Yeah, and, and just, 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 just to piggyback on, on that, that I, I love Nipex pliers. The, the, the Germans make high-quality high products. It's just the design of the vamp pliers. I was, I was building a futon. Um, a few weeks ago, and it was a, it was an Allen wrench um, yes, screw with, 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 with the bolt, and the Allen wrench um, bolt is essentially the Allen wrench screw is essentially a pan head screw uh, or or truss head screw that has like one or two millimeters of clearance on the head, and the van pliers are the were the only pair of pliers. That could hold onto the head while I screwed in the bolt to build the futon, and I tried using the Nipex, Stanley, and the channel lock and the Klein pliers before long, long, long before I even tried the Vamp pliers because those were the first the first ones that I immediately jumped to because that's what's in my toolbox. But and I'm not just saying this just 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 to tout Vampire Tools horn the. The six-inch vamp pliers were the only pair of pliers that could hold the the screw in place, so I could attach the bolt and build the futon, so I could take pictures of it and resell it. And so, and, but consequently, when I sell this futon, I'm gonna have to give the buyer a pair of the vamp pliers because I, he, he literally will not be able to build the vamp pliers without the dirt with. He literally will not be able to build the futon without the vamp pliers because the Allen wrench screw has been stripped. So there is definitely a benefit and a value behind the product. And if you don't like it, just re you can just return it and get your money back. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Um, come on. I was just saying we went the whole night. Guys, there's no need to argue about this stuff, man. There's no big deal. You know what I mean? Like, just... It's late. Let's not argue, guys. Come on. James, you've been here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Shit. Yeah, no. James, you've been here pretty much from the fucking start, James. So, Nick, uh, you know, there's no need to argue over that. I mean, if, if you have different uh, different opinions yeah. on things, then just have your different opinions. That's all. I know I'm a fire starter sometimes, but that's only when it really needs to be. I'll get in someone's <laughs> ass in a video. But, guys, it's it's too late. Let's just let's just get along, you know. Mm -hmm. This isn't a hostile video, mm -hmm. and I do agree with that. Just because something is USA made, I don't think people go for USA made because of quality. Um, most people go for USA made to support American jobs. That's ninety percent of what it is. It has nothing to do with quality ninety nine percent of the time. It's na nationalism and pride. Right. That's exactly what it is. People want it to. To support America and to provide jobs jobs for Americans. Because the iPhone is not made in California yet. It's it's design. Sorry, it's not made in. It's designed in California, made in China. But that does not change the the quality of 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 the product as long as the management and intellectual property comes from the United States and is managed properly overseas so why does it matter what soil it's made on as long as the intellectual property and management is there wherever it's being created that's that's one of the things that i've learned from working at this company because i was a gung-ho made in usa um tool tool guy my dad my grandfather was a he laid telephone line for pacific bell i literally have pacific bell klein Brent Klein tool branded pliers still in my garage to this day. And when I compare them to the van pliers, it's like, yes, it's great that these pliers 
are made in the USA and I have a lot of pride in them and because they were my grandfathers and I will keep them forever. But when I'm looking to get the job done, because we live in such a globalized world nowadays, the physical land in which the product is built, it is kind of irrelevant. It all comes from the intellectual property of the person that created the idea up here along with the management and boots on the ground. So that's that 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 that's 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 my forte. But I also understand and recognize that the majority of mechanics really take to heart the made in USA label, yeah. and so I'm doing everything I can Nick, to make that happen. Nick, you've got a point as well. Nick, you've got a point as well. That's what I'm saying, Nick. Like Nick and James Bull, it's okay to have two different point of views. That's how it's going to be for everything. Everywhere you go, everyone's opinion is going to differ. You know what I mean? Just because your opinions differ, you know what I mean? Like, you guys just go off of what you see each other say on the internet. You don't know each other, so it's easy to argue. You guys might meet each other and be best fucking friends, you know? Probably never meet each other, but there's just no point in getting down the nitty-gritty and arguing and saying all sorts of crazy shit. And, uh, you know, you just all over something. Because, let's face it, I've got opinions that you guys probably don't like a lot of the times on the tools and stuff that I... Do reviews on or whatever they're, they're just my opinions you know what I mean and so you know like in the chat it's just arguing on the internet is like fucking winning a special Olympics let's see but anyways if you have your own opinions it's good don't argue about them bring them up you know what I'm saying bring up your different opinions because it's good then because it's something to talk about debate about you know what I mean stuff like that so it's okay to have different opinions but you guys both make valid points as well. So. Yep, and the the one the, the one last thing that I want to just point is, I and, and I and I I reluctantly I hate to say this, but just because it says made in the USA doesn't always mean that it's going to be a higher quality product. Well, that's depending they, on the product. That's why you got to read the comments, big guy. That's what they were just saying. Um, it, go up a little they uh they did say that you know i mean i also said that too just uh, oh, okay because, just because yeah. it's made in the usa doesn't change it but again the reason why people support usa made tools is just yep and it, it, it's 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 kind of like like sticker shock but but it's like the same mentality it's you, you, national pride and you kind of you want to support your own country right, exactly I, and and I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm and, and, and I and I and I and I and I I agree with that with all of you and I'm I'm the same way and I hate to say this but however sometimes I I need a if I need a tool that can get the job done I don't really care where it comes from as long as it gets the job done. I'm obviously going to try to look within the United States first, but some, sometimes I don't always have that luxury. Me personally, I know it might be wrong to say or wrong way to think. I honestly don't care where something comes from. Because at the end of the day, me buying one tool from out of the country isn't going to make a difference. And I know if everyone thinks like that, it's definitely not going to make a difference. But I'm one of those people, man. Like, that's why I don't like to vote. I don't like to do anything. I'm just one person. And I get it. If a bunch of people thought like me, the world would be doomed. But I just can't get over it, man. I can't. Like I said, if I need a certain tool and it's right there, or I have to order it to get it USA made, I'm not going to order it. I'm going to buy it right the fuck there. I need it. You know, like... Time is money. That. Yep, time is definitely money. Mm -hmm. Just rip a beaver. No, I didn't fart. Oh, it looked and sounded like you farted. Oh, no, oh, I, I have this... I have I, I have, I have a drawer here that's designed for a keyboard, and I, I, I opened it because... I, uh, uh I, I'm, <laughs> you say that like it wouldn't make my day. God damn. <laughs> Fucking James. See? <laughs> wait, wait, some of you tried to get the smell up. <laughs> now listen, guys, one thing. Now tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. We all know Snap-on is the biggest tool corporate. It's the biggest. It's the most well-known. It's the most reputable, reputable tool company. All right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. 
There's a lot of you guys in here that probably don't buy a lot of shit from Snap-on because of the price. We all know Snap-on's profit margin is through the roof. Now, if Snap-on lowered their price by 25%, they would still, they would still dominate the tool industry, and yet so many more people would purchase from them, hence, not hence, but which in turn would blow them up 10 times bigger than they already are. Now, my wondering, I guess my maybe my thought behind why they don't do this is because as as humans, we tend to think if something's more expensive, it's better. Just like women, Michael Kors purse. They buy a Michael, and you guys say, why do you know so much about purses? I buy good purses for my girl. Now, a Michael Kors purse can run you anywhere from five to six, sometimes $700 for Michael Kors, all right? And you can buy a guest purse. Are you paying for the brand? Or you can buy a guest purse, and it's $100, all right? Maybe even cheaper. Now, the quality in the purses aren't going to be any fucking different. They're both leather. They're both this. They're both that. But because the other one is so much more expensive, uh, it's so much more sought after. People want it. People desire it, okay? So... Uh, that's what makes it like that. So when you have a snap-on box and you pull that drawer open and everything snap-on, you know if anyone's around, they're going to woo and woe. Now, if nobody was around to look at your box and look at your tools, do you think you would still buy snap-on? All right. If there were no other guys that knew about snap-on and all the women didn't know anything about tools, so you wouldn't be able to show your tools off to know anybody because nobody would know what they were. No, it wouldn't matter. Would you still buy Snap-on? Probably not. See what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, Snap-on, I think, isn't... I'm not going to say Snap-on's not running their business right because, boy, they got everybody under their thumb, including myself. I owe Snap-on a little bit of money. Not much, but still I do, as do, I'm sure, a lot of you. But... They would get so much more business and they would completely dominate the tool market if they lowered their price. And let's face it, guys, they can lower their price 30% and still, still kill it on profits. Um, yep. You know, like, I mean, I just don't get it. I don't get why they don't do it. Because they can and they haven't. I, 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 I like that, Nick. I do. Where are you from? See, now, oh, speaking of which, guys, I was on the truck when I got these gauges and shit. And he had the 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 half inch drive set of the uh, impact flex head sockets or sw impact swivel sockets, the same set as in the Snap-on catalog. Where is it? Here it is. Nope. This set right here. Okay. I cannot believe the price of this motherfucking set. This set right here. All of these. Okay. Now on Snap-on here, each one of these sets is $825 for each row. $825. That's $1,650. Well, actually, one's $800. Ouch. So that's $1,625 or $1,650, whatever it is. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's going to be $1,625. Actually, $1,620 to be exact. So after tax, you're looking at probably like $1,700, okay? Maybe even a little more. $1,700 for a 24-piece set. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 24-piece set, all right? It's over $100 on, that wrench. On, what's his name? Truck today or yesterday, Thursday, yesterday. And this exact set in gear wrench, lifetime warranty, $110. $110. So guess what's one I'm getting? The gear wrench. The gear wrench. And then, on top of it, for 150 he had the same set in gray pneumatic. And I don't know if you guys ever use gray pneumatic impact tools. Impact sockets, swivel sockets, and all that shit. Gray pneumatic makes a fucking badass socket. Gray pneumatic makes a damn good socket. GP, if you guys haven't heard of it. Most people know him as, know him as GP. 
GP makes a very, very good impact. Very good. And they're very, very portable. And that's more what I'm going to start driving my channel towards, guys, and tell me if you guys like it or think it's a good idea, about quality tools that are affordable. You know? Because you'll notice in my box, I mean, a lot of it is Snap-on now because I have the Snap-on truck. But then you'll see shit like this. Um, this here in Snap-on would probably cost a good $500, $400. You know what I mean? So I think on my part, this was the smarter move. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just a Snap-on, these aren't lifetime warranty. But Snap-ons is a one-year warranty, and I got a two-year warranty. With so... That's that's uh, I me. Mean, that's that's good bragging rights right there. But I'm gonna start revolving my channel around tools that are affordable for everybody. You know, like just because it says Snap On doesn't mean it's better. What was it, guys? The Orifice Tube tool I bought two weeks ago. All right, I was like, shit, Snap On selling something for thirty bucks? Fuck yeah! So I said, hey, order me that master uh, that uh, Orifice Tube puller tool. And so I got it, and the fucking thing didn't fit in the case. It didn't do nothing. It was just a, a exactly what it was was a master cool set, rebranded with a Snap On sticker on it. That's all. So it Snap On International probably. There was no Snap On about that tool. It was a master cool product with a Snap On sticker. Uh, Nick, I'm not. Maybe the impact sockets are good. I'm done with Sun X. I'm done. Well, I'm not done with them. But I would buy impact sockets, fuck man, Harbor Freights, professional series, impact sockets, the, the low series, the low ones for like $10 or whatever, I wouldn't buy those. But Harbor Freight sockets, impact sockets are actually pretty nice for the professional series. And I use those for a bit, never broken one. Um, those are really good. Um, great, gray uh, pneumatic is very good. Uh, Sun X. I've broken a bunch of Sunex tools, that's why I'm like, eh. But impact socket, you can't go wrong. Good. I'm sure if you contact Gray Pneumatic Hard Knocks, you can send them in. Low pressure, GP is uh, Gray Pneumatic. Very, very good uh, tool. Very good tool. It's made in uh, Jupiter. Most of these companies are usually pretty good about honoring warranty claims because they know if they honor it, it, it will keep you coming back for more for more tools. Exactly. That's why if you guys think like companies like Gray Pneumatic and all that won't warranty shit, you don't know until you send it in. All right. If if you want a tool, don't call, don't email them and ask them, hey, will you warranty this? Will you warranty that? Because they're gonna tell you no. But if you send it in, they're going to warranty it. They're going to. Because they're not just going to send it back to you and then have a pissed off customer. If they do that and they send you back your broken tool, guess what you're not going to ever do again? Buy their shit. And they know that. Plus write a, a bunch of bad reviews more, exactly. more than likely. It's cheaper for them to send you a new tool. But most, a lot of people that purchase tools... Fail to follow up on the war on the warranty, yep. and and the companies are counting on that. Hard knocks. Uh, you say they won't honor Amazon purchases. Take my word for this. Break one of their sockets and send it to them. Don't contact them. Don't do anything. Email. Find out what their address is for return. Send it to them and see if you don't get a new socket in return. I bet you you do. I've done it multiple times with different companies. Yeah, I mean, in worst case scenario, can't you say? I got it as a gift. I don't know where where it was purchased oh from. <laughs> Gus Bus GP is not GoPro. Yeah, G General Pneumatic. No, oh, Gray Pneumatic. Gray Pneumatic. All right, guys, we're out of here. Um, uh, RJ, don't hang up yet. Um. Guys, we're out of here. Uh, I appreciate you guys joining. I can't believe it. We should we even got 23 guys at fucking 3.43. Fuck, I gotta fill up a few bars. Um, I didn't mean to stay up this late, but I fucking, I love talking with you guys. And it was great having you on here, RJ. Thank you for being a part of this tonight.
Thanks mm -hmm. for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. The guys all enjoyed you. You know what I mean? Like they all. I, I'm actually not that I'm shocked, but you know, like I said, it's a great group of guys. They don't come in here acting like idiots. They had serious questions for you, gave them serious answers. They were really respectful to you. You were respectful to them. Great night. Great night. Uh, Hard knocks. I'm thinking tomorrow night. Maybe we get up for a uh, a live stream. I know uh, you enjoy doing them, and everyone enjoys having you on them. But RJ, we'll definitely set something up again, and then we'll have one with Hard Knocks. I want to bring Hard Knocks in tonight, but my internet probably wouldn't have handled it tonight. Okay. Um, Completely. I'm free all weekend. Okay. Um, I wasn't saying that soon. I oh, okay. Talk to you this long that soon. Anytime. No, I'm just kidding. Um, RJ, we're going to go start getting you some tattoos. Uh, make sure you respond to these guys. They're talking. Yeah, I, 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 I want to respond to Hard Knocks, but if this is getting saved and my boss sees this later, I'm scared to respond Don't to this. Don't say anything you're going to regret. I just, I, I wonder, I'm curious how old his sister is. Oh, geez, stop, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Hard Knocks uploaded the video with the GoPro on your dog. Okay, later, Chevy. Yeah, Hard Knocks is just trying to pull my chain. Listen. But I'm I'm used to that. That's what I do. All right, say your goodbyes to everyone. Yeah. Bye, everybody. I really appreciate everything that all of your feedback. I am gonna. I've taken all of your notes and going to report back um, to basically all of my bosses and address all of the concerns that you guys have. What did you do screen, RJ? Low battery. Okay. Go ahead. Finish, because, finish, your, finish what you're saying. Because essentially we can't yeah, improve yeah. our products without, a, without recognizing your concerns and – Forums like this is Thanks, how we learn how to Im improve our products. So thank you for taking the time and asking all of your questions and giving me the opportunity to respond to you guys. It really gives me a good outlet to learn more and improve on partner products. Are we still live? Yes, we are. I just, you know, I'm just typing okay. a message to everyone because you were talking. I love all these guys, man. man. They're awesome. Without the, without these guys, man, I wouldn't do YouTube. Yeah. I really wouldn't. Just these few guys here are enough for me, man. These are all the regulars. I could have a live stream yeah. anytime, anywhere, any place, and these guys would be every time. No matter who's yeah, I mean, live stream, no matter who's doing what, these guys are here all the time. I mean, the fact that they're that they're up at like. 12, 3 in the morning, I mean, that that definitely shows their dedication. And, and guys I, and girls, I, I really appreciate the time that, that you've extended to me and listening to me. I hope I was able to answer and address all of your questions as best as I can. And I am going to take all of your feedback back to our team and basically literally say, these are what people are saying. This is what people want. What now can we do? You've seen it for yourself, RJ. You've seen it firsthand. They tell you over and over. All these guys have the same views, the same points, the same opinions. They mm -hmm. all do. All right. Each and every last one of these guys that did comment on them all said the same thing. So that tells you one thing. This shit's got to happen. Yep. I, 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 I agree with you. So now that basically I've gathered the data as a result of this forum and YouTube comments, which will give me the ammunition to go to my boss and say, look, this is what people are saying. I'm not blowing smoke out my ass. I, here are the 50 comments saying you need to make a vice grip version or you need to do this and offer a lifetime warranty. And it's because I said all of this shit from the get go, but without your, your, your all of your guys's input, it does not give me the ammunition to make them make a decision. So I sincerely appreciate the feedback that you give me because it allows me to do my job better and improve our products. Um, Not to sound like a corporate rep, but it's true. No. Nick and James, I appreciate you guys ending up being civil. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, Nick, um, do you have the promo code, Nick? Because if I could say anything, again, I don't make any money from it. Yeah. Uh, I see. I would 
ask that you buy it from the site or from Amazon. This way here it does support the company. Because the more money they make, the owner does want to move to America. Like he wants to start his own company uh, to get out from underneath Vampire Tools or underneath the, what's the other brand? Engineer. To get out from underneath Engineer. From my understanding from RJ that he's not really 100% happy being under Engineer and he wants to have his own company made in the USA. So whatever money they make brings him that much closer to, to doing it. So. Uh, if you can, I just ask that you buy it from either Amazon or use the 15% the code, whichever is cheaper for you. It doesn't matter. I do not profit from it. But this way here, you support the company as well. Um, and if it is significantly cheaper on eBay or you find it used and that's what you have to afford, then by all means, do, do what you got to do. You know, I'm just asking that if you can and you do have the means, just support their company. Even if you don't use the promo code, it doesn't matter. But again, guys, you all have a good night. Thank you all so much for joining, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.